You see, I have this Halloween design to get prep for DTF on a black shirt. This should half tone really well. The size at 300 DPI is seven. I'm gonna take a guess and go ahead and get this up to 11.5. You're gonna want this to be big on a t-shirt. I'm gonna leave the frequency or dot size at 35 and the angle at 33. Click on enable color knockout. And I'm gonna select this color up here in the corner. It looks to be pure black and now run. I like to start with the default usually, and then I go and look at the original and then what it'll look like on a shirt and then the alpha channel. And that looks pretty good. One thing I'm thinking here is this row of dots, this glow seems to be a lot. And I wouldn't mind knocking that down some a little. If we highlight the shadow end here, and I just bump that up some, you can see dynamically it pops back and forth. And this design is pretty dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and boost this shadow amount. Once again, I'll highlight and just use the up arrows and give that color just a better chance when it's sitting on the black shirt. As far as the post cleanup, I usually keep it on standard. And what that's going to do is get rid of the tiniest of dots that are left on your design because you're not gonna be able to hold that on a DTF printer, those little crumbs. So hit apply. And to save this in the proper format, we're going to file, export, quick export as PNG, and then save. 